I just think we should have been more observant. In this community, you, you help your neighbor, but you also give them their space. He was so reclusive and secretive that there's just really no way we could have gone from the hermit in the cabin to the Unabomber. It's just such a far stretch. I almost always succeeded in avoiding meeting people in the woods. I, I would keep off the trails and keep toward the, the most isolated parts. His clothing was ripped and tattered and still hair wild, eyes wild. Filthy, dirty, just the, the layers of dirt on his skin was like crusted. I had these old dirty rag clothes on and I had a, I took a baseball cap and I put a neck cloth on it so they could take the neck cloth and button it over to the side so it would cover the lower part of my face. So here I was walking down this trail. I had a bedroll slung over my shoulder and um, I had a canteen hanging here and a bottle of cooking oil hanging here and, and I had a rifle slung in, my, in the crook of my arm, you know, and I'm striding down this trail. And all of a sudden, I meet him coming in the opposite direction, a couple of kids that looked like college kids, you know, out on a field trip or something like that. And there I am with a rifle over my arm, my, my face covered. <laughs> and so some of these kids wouldn't think I was a bandit or something. You know, I pulled the thing down, you know, so it would not cover my face anymore. And I said, hi. And he sort of looked at me and said, hi. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that really sticks out to me in my memory, there was one day where I was walking up to our rock quarry, which I did frequently, and just taking a walk by myself. And I rounded a corner. There was Ted, and we almost just ran into each other. And it startled both of us. But at that point, I just remember being scared. The hair on the back of my neck stood up, and I knew something was wrong, something was out of place. Not a word was said, and I remember just almost running back home and constantly looking over my shoulder to, to see if he was still there. I was truly fearful of him. <laughs> 